If you want to set up a new Laravel project, there's two methods to go about it. You can either use Composer, Composer to download a copy of a Laravel project framework, or you can install the Laravel installer. And then once you have that installed, anytime you want to start a new Laravel project, you just use the Laravel command line tool. So we are gonna walk through the process of installing the Laravel installer and then use that to create a new project. Now this video already assumes you have Composer installed. So if you don't, there is another video walkthrough of that process. So to start, I have my terminal open and you can see if I type Laravel, I get a command not found. So I do not have the Laravel installer installed on this computer. If I type in Composer, uh, I do have Composer installed. So the first thing I want to do is use Composer to grab a copy of the Laravel installer. So to do that, I just type Composer and I'm going to global require the Laravel installer. Right now, if I type Laravel, I get some command options. Now, one thing I want to make sure is that this command is accessible from any folder. So I want to add this, the Laravel installer, to my global paths. So for example, Laravel was installed to, if I go back to my user folder here, and do a list including hidden files, you can see in here I have a .composer folder. So if I go into that folder, and you don't need to do this, I'm just kind of showing you where that, compo that uh, Laravel installer was installed to. So if I go into my vendor folder, sorry, I spelled vendor wrong there. All right, and then go into my bin, and then type list, you can see there is my Laravel program. Now I wanna make sure that that is accessible from, from any folder using the terminal. So if I go present working directory, you can see that this is in the users slash Adam composer vendor bin folder. All right, and with that folder, let's just copy this. So highlight that present working directory and copy. Then I am going to edit my pass file by just going sudo vim etc slash path. So we're gonna use a command line text editor called vim. Now this editor is notorious for among programmers for once you get in here, how do I get out? How do I exit? And I'll show you how to do that in a sec. But now I can just paste that path in there and now that I want to get out, you can see there's no exit here. So you actually hit colon, and then there's a series of letters that have different meanings. So I wanna save and exit, so that's WQ. And now that path has been added to my paths file. So now from here, you'll see that if I type Laravel, it's working from any folder. So now I can go into my user folder, into my uh, desktop, and into a folder called personal. This is just where I put my personal coding projects. All right, so I'm in my personal directory. So now let's create a new app. So I can just go Laravel, new example app, and hit enter. And now it's gonna create a new project using that project name. So it's just downloading some library dependencies here and getting the new project Laravel framework. And now that it's done, I can type list and you can see I now have a folder called example app. So let's go into that folder. And if I do another list, you can see there is all my starting Laravel files. Now, if I want to view this project as is, I can use the artisan tool to get that project up and running. So it'll deploy that Laravel project at this IP address with the port 8000 and I can type that into a browser 
and there is my current Laravel project. Uh, likewise, if you're using MAMP, so let's just open up MAMP here. Now, by default, MAMP uses the htdocs folder, so I want to switch that to my Laravel project. So I'm going to go into my preferences, and I'm going to change this folder, and I'm going to point this to my example app slash public. So make sure you include that public folder. If you just choose example app, it's not going to work. So I can hit choose. I can hit OK and start. And I can take the default page here and just delete that and load the home page and that will load the same project home page. So two different methods of deploying that. Whichever one you're more comfortable with is, is probably fine.